Hi, this is Christopher Boucher, and I'm going to review how to do a chi-square goodness of fit test in SPSS. So when we do chi-square goodness of fit tests, what we're doing is comparing the observed with the expected. And the difference between observed and expected, which allows us to uh, actually do a hypothesis test with this, is that it, we have the concept of what um, the expected should be. And that's always some type of um, uh, probability distribution that we already um, have in mind. And so if it has a probability distribution that we're following, then we know what it should be, and that is the expected. And then the observed is our actual data, and that's usually where we start. Okay, we have the, uh, I have the data right here. So the first column says quality. So um, it's named as quality, and it says excellent, good, unacceptable. And then the second column is named count. 150 and it's uh, 157, 42, and 1. So this is the um, observed for each of these categories. If you're wondering how you name these columns, you go into variable view and you can uh, name the columns and you can um, change some of the settings there. Okay, so let's go and take a look at this. We do um, analyze. So you click on analyze. And then we go to uh, non-parametric tests, one sample. So technically, the chi-square, uh, the the chi the chi-square distribution isn't a, it doesn't follow a defined type of distribution, such as uh, the normal standard distribution. So it's considered a non-parametric that it's not related to a population distribution. It it's interesting in that we apply distributions through it, but it's not doesn't actually have a distribution of its own. So what we do is we click on the one sample. Then we have a couple options here in these tabs. It says automatically compare observed data to hypothesized. And that's, we'll just leave it there. It's going to end up when we're done. It, it will end up um, checking this right here because we, we make some changes. Then let's take a look at fields. Now it already um, put it in here because I was practicing before. So you might end up with it like this. It says quality count. So we want to put the quality field over um, into the test fields um, section. So it's selected kind of like that. And then everything else is okay. And then let's take a look at settings. So for settings, um, we want to, we don't want it to, um, uh, we don't want to pick the default, which says automatically choose the test based on the data. That's, that's very similar to access where it says define the table based on what you put in. It's not the best way to do things. So it says customize test. So we're going to choose this one right here that says compare observed probabilities to hypothesize chi-score test. And um, that's exactly what we're doing. We're comparing our observed to what is hypothesized. And what's hypothesized is that it follows a certain type of distribution, whatever we choose. So I'm going to click Options. And for Options, if, if our data listed right here had one third uh, probability that it would be, um, out of all the outcomes, one third would be excellent one-third would be good, and one-third would be unacceptable, then we would leave this right here checked. All categories have equal probability. So that would be equal. One-third, um, one-third, one-third. They're all equal. But for our problem, we're not going to do that. So we're going to do customize expected probabilities. And so I'm going to go and put in what the customized expected probabilities would be. And so for the first one, I'm going to type in excellent, and then we're going to say that it should be um, 80, or about 80%. And then for the second one, we're going to say good is about 15%. 0.15 and then for um, unacceptable we're going to say it's 0 0.05 so about 5% are unacceptable based on uh, what it should be 
or based on what's expected. And then I'm going to click OK. So we've clicked on that, we've, we've set that up, and let me just go through and show you some of the test options. So this is where you put in if you are uh, testing for a 5% level of significance or a 1% level of si significance, you would change it right here. So we can change this. So if I go down to um, 1%, we can do that. But we're going to keep it on 5. And then it has the confidence interval. And um, as you may know, the confidence interval is essentially the beta of the opposite of the alpha. If you draw this all out, the significance level is always, if you take the significance level and add it to the confidence interval, it's going to end up equaling one. So you shouldn't, um, typically they, they relate. Okay, um, and this talks about excluding cases. We're not gonna get into that. And then uh, user missing uh, values. So if there's um, data values that are not there, so it's their blank, it's going to exclude it because um, it, it doesn't uh, make for accurate calculations, and, um, and so we're going to exclude that. So I'm going to click on Run. Okay, so this is great. It went calculated real quick, and it said, let's take a look at this. This is what type of test it is. It says the categories of um, quality occur with the specified probabilities. And so it's just saying these are the specified probabilities and it says uh, what type of test, one sample chi-score test, and then significance, 0 0.002. So if we were testing this um, up against the uh, 0 0.05 uh, significance level, then we would uh, reject because it is less than 0 0.05, which means that we are okay with the possibility that we are wrong because it's very small. So, so the, the p-values always kind of tell us um, how okay we are with the possibility of being wrong. Usually that's 5%, that's that significance level. And then when our calculated significance level is less than that, then it's like, okay, we're, we're more confident, we're okay with the, the possibility of being wrong because we set what that level was, which is usually 0.5, 0 0.05, but that doesn't mean it, it always is. And then it says, okay, the decision, reject the null hypothesis. And that's because our calculated p-score is less than our critical value p-score. And it says, um, asymptomatic a uh, significance are displayed, the significance level is 0.05. So that's fine. I'm going to click on this. And when you, this is neat, when you click on it um, in SPSS, it goes and it uh, makes a little graph. And um, so that there's some value in clicking on it. So these are basic um, basic uh, data um, that, it, that it gives you. But this one right here, it says there are zero cells, 0% 0 with expected values of less than five. Now, when you do the uh, chi-square goodness of fit test, you do not supposed to have categories that have less than five um, observate data observations. So this says, hey, the um, there are zero cells with ex with expected values of less than five. So what that means is um, we're doing okay. And then it says the minimum expected value is ten. Okay. So we're doing okay with this. We would reject the uh, null hypothesis, which means um, one of these uh, one of these uh, categories or groups is different than the other. The mean of one of the groups is different than the other two, and um, that is uh, that's what our outcome would be. So thank you for watching.